Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, today I'm on Neville Island, just north of Pittsburgh, and I'm here at King's Roadhouse. It's a restaurant that was a chain, a local chain to Pittsburgh, and Pittsburghers know all about this place, and unfortunately, uh, for the wrong reasons anymore. And I say that because they used to have good food. Their food always was pretty good. They, they had locations all over. I mean, Harmerville, McMurray, the, that one's still open. There was a couple up in Lower Borough, New Ken, uh, there was one on Route 60 out in Robinson, and there's there was another one out in Delmont, and I mean they were everywhere at one point in time. There was one in Wexford, and uh, there's one on the tip of my tongue. I just can't remember the name of it. Oh, uh, Bridgeville or Heidelberg, that's it. And yeah, they had good food, and unfortunately, a California-based company bought them out and just completely ruined them and i mean for a while they were still good and once they started closing them i ran out of places to go to go to king's and unfortunately the ones that were still around i just never made it to and now just about all of them are closed except for mcmurray but this is another example and let's go check it out well there it is king's roadhouse gone done nothing left no frownies brownies nothing Yep, the sign says it all. We just went for a little drive today. We're, we were on Neville Island just cruising around. And I saw that this was all painted out. And that closed sign on it said it all. And it finally went. Which is a shame. This was like one of the last ones left in the area. Kings in general, they hadn't been doing good for a number of years. And closed many locations in our area and I mean it's a Pittsburgh chain of restaurants but they just their food wasn't that good anymore I guess I mean I never had a problem with them but other people did and that's why they're gone absolutely nothing I actually knew a couple people that worked at this one too I had no idea it closed though there's a look inside the front door can't see anything except my reflection so we'll go over here to the sides I wonder when it closed. 10% military and police discount. Should get more than that. At least 20 or 25%. They just got seating around the tables are gone. I know the step, all the tables are gone from these booths. It's kind of weird. Nice aesthetics to it, though. And it was nice, because this is right off of Interstate 79, which is why it's so noisy. You hear cars behind me. Yeah, you got Interstate 79, which has the off and on ramps right there. The on ramp is closed to 79 North, but that's the bridge, and they're doing road work on it, but that's why it's very noisy. And this would be a popular truck stop, even though parking is kind of hard in here. It, it was a popular truck stop. Heck, that's why the speedway was put here. Take a walk over here. I don't think I can squeeze through that way, so we'll just go around the other way here. But this is their garbage area. That's why there's a hotel there, too. Nothing in here. Oh, maybe we can squeeze through. Okay, yeah, cool. That works. Oh, there's a bell. I have to do it. I couldn't hear if it worked or not. <laughs> a lot of people at the hotel for mid-June. 
Yeah, as I was saying, though, about Kings in general, their food hasn't been the greatest. I haven't had Kings food in years. Um, we used to go to the one in Harmerville a lot, and even when I lived out this general direction, there was the one on Route 60 there, also by 79. <laughs> And that was up on top of a hill with a bunch of other hotels, and now there's a get-go in its place. That closed years ago, and then there was the ones in New Kensington, Lower Borough, New Kensington, and they just recently closed, and I haven't yet I haven't yet been able to get up there and do a video, even though New Ken is so close to me. Just completely empty, nothing in there whatsoever. I, like I said, I like the design on this building. Let me step back from this so you can see it better. Just kind of, I know it's not too impressive, but it's cool enough. It's unique. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Man, when my, when my dad was alive, we would go all the time. My mom, dad, brother, and I. The one in Harmerville was good. That was our go-to place. This was the last one left, and I kept saying, I'll come out here, I'll get something to eat, I'll get something to eat, and just never did it, and now I can't. This one's finally gone. And I'll tell you, there are hardly any King's restaurants left. I think the only one that I know of personally is the one in McMurray. But as for this one, that's a wrap. All right, everybody. Well, that's going to wrap it up from King's Roadhouse here. It's just a shame. I kept saying one day I'll come here and eat. And now there's one less Kings to go do that. There, there's hardly any of them left now at this point. And like I was saying earlier, uh, the McMurray one is the only one I know of left in the immediate area that's still open. I mean, I'm sure there's another one or two out there, but there can't be many left. And that's just a shame because at one point they really did have good food. And I'll put it this way. One of my ex-co-workers, he said the last time he went there... I remember he got cheesy hash browns or whatever, kind of like scalloped potatoes, but cheesy hash browns, and he said it kind of tasted like plastic. He said he wouldn't have been surprised if there was a piece of plastic in the, in the food. Ew. So, yeah, I know. And you want to go eat there. Well, it could have been just that one location, and plus the one it, it was at closed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a shame. That's one less place for truckers to stop and eat when they get off on Neville Island here from I-79, but I, I mean, they got Speedway, and if you go up that way, up the road here, there's a couple of other little places. There's like a Kogo's, and once you get into Coriopolis, there's McDonald's, so um, there's a couple of places here, but not much anymore. But King's Roadhouse, gone, done. I can't believe I was gonna do, I can't believe I ended up doing a video here. I had no intentions on doing a video today. I'm tired, I just wanted to go for a little ride with the lady. Oh, with the lady. <laughs> Yeah, we were just taking a little day trip, even around town, because we're getting ready to go to Texas in a week. So, I figured, let's just stick around town. We'll ride around. I'm not going to do any videos today. And then, when I came across this, I said, yep, I'll do it. I don't feel like it, but I'll do it. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like. Do it for me, because I'm really beat. I just did not have the energy to get out of the car and do it. But I still did it for you guys, so I hope you did enjoy. <laughs> um, anyway... I'm taking off. We're going to go ride around while the sun sets and then go to bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, burnt out. I'm going to head home and I am going to finish dyeing my hair. I have a hair transformation coming up. So when you guys see me, you will see the new two colors I'm going to be sporting. That's why she's not on camera because of her hair transformation. It's a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise, you guys. <laughs> it's a process. So, all right, everybody. Yep. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kingslicious day. And we'll talk to you later. By the way, I don't want to go eat at Kings because I have a king right here. Aww. I have a king right here. There is nothing king about me.
Don't nice. laugh at me like that. Be nice to yourself. I am nice. That was not nice. I'm a jag off. What are you talking about? No, these people are jag offs for clothes and all the time. See, now I'm getting mad. Even though I just ate, which by the way, the food we did eat today was chicken up in cranberry. Wow, so good. First of all, I got a uh, mad dog, or no, bird dog. That was the food item I got. It was bird dog. It was chicken tenders on potato bread with chili and cheese on it. So good, and I don't have a hangover from that. That's the kind of bird dog I like. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and so I ended up eating it was hot one though. of their, um, I just got like the regular chicken sandwich. And first of all, it was a million times better than Popeyes, which isn't hard to do. Exactly. And I asked for medium because I wasn't really necessarily in the mood for something spicy. And I found out they gave me hot. So I, I'm not the type of person to complain. I still ate it, but who was my mouth on fire. Yeah, mine was too. I got the hot. I didn't even get the damn hot. I just got the regular and hot. And also, uh, today is National Sushi Day. So, um, so why didn't you get sushi? Because you can't get sushi at the chicken place. I was going to say, I might get sushi for dinner. Giant Eagle, even though for I hate them. dinner. For dinner, I will get sushi. So happy sushi day, happy King's Day, RIP King and sushi. <laughs> All right, we're taking it off, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay awesome again. And have a King's Delicious Day. Bye. Bye, everyone. Uh -huh.